Hello, JJ. Oh, yeah. How are you? Good, how are you? So, this is not your first goat rodeo. You've done this before. Do you I, remember the very first time you did this? Uh, I think the first time I came to the Golden Globes was for Felicity, a show that, uh, that Carrie Russell started. It needs no introduction around these parts. All right, nice, nice to hear. Nice to hear. And people still love the Felicity, you know. That. Oh, thanks so much. That's yeah. incredibly kind of you. Do you feel, as a filmmaker, as you've gone along, do you find these events more or less interesting? I, I got to say, uh, it's it's always incredibly uh, nice to be invited to any one of these things. And if you don't go to an event like this, grateful you should not come. I'm incredibly grateful. All right, good. Well, then you should be here. Is there a list? Are they keeping a list somewhere? The people? I, they probably are. I mean, you know. Oh, you're not grateful. Do not invite him back. I'm sure the Russians have a list. That's true. They seem to have everything these days. They're on their toes, the Russians. They know what they're doing, apparently. As a filmmaker and uh, as a writer, you know, you've gotten a chance to kind of revisit and revivify, if that is a word, some of the most beloved pieces of our popular culture. And that is both enormously exciting and probably filled with fear and loathing. Is there, is there something that you would like to do that you haven't gotten to do about, you know, in terms of stuff from your childhood or growing up that you've, you loved or inspired you? Well, first of all, I'm still recovering from Revivify. But secondly... You, uh, you will never recover from that. That's probably true. Uh, no, I, you know, I, I feel incredibly lucky to have gotten involved in things that I loved when I was a kid. And, uh, in fact, even Westworld, which we're here for tonight, is one of them. But I, I don't feel... Uh, any desire to do that again. I feel like I've I've done enough of that that uh, I, I am more excited about working on things that are original ideas that perhaps one day someone else will have to reboot and re revivify. Do you worry a little bit about our obsession with, you know, with the, the iconography of our past that we're so, we look back so much? You know, I, I do think that if you're telling a story that is not moving anything forward, that's not introducing anything that's relevant, that's not creating a, a new mythology or an extension of it, then a, a complete remake of something feels like a mistake. But uh, there have been stories, you know, film is a fairly young medium, and there are stories that have, that have lasted for centuries. And it, it, it's not uncommon, I think, for stories to continue and to be retold whether it's at a campfire or on film, but I think you have to always be additive. You can't just be remaking something for the sake of remaking. And, and weirdly, you have this timeliness thing that goes on. Westworld couldn't be more timely. It makes me never want to look at my phone or escape into a virtual world ever again. So I thank you for that and all the rest of the movie magic that you have created for my, for my personal pleasure. That is incredibly generous. Thank you very much. Well, Cheers. Thank you very much for stopping by. Enjoy your night.